indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, has alerted the world over an alleged secret plan by some gunmen and terrorists to attack South East States before the end of March. IPOP's media and publicity secretary, Ima Powerful, made this known in the press statement and made available to newsmen in a worry. According to Powerful, most of the fire incidents and explosions are intentional acts plotted by headsmen to eliminate people of the zone. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, wants to alert the world of the wicked plot by terrorists and other sponsors to totally decimate the people of Biafra, particularly in Dibu, before the end of March. The bomb explosion in Lagos yesterday was clearly targeted at Igbo homes and businesses. Our race is sleepwalking into a disaster, worse than any seen before by an endangered people, Ima Powerful, alleged. According to an intelligence gathering, the group claimed to have carried out about 14,000 churches have already been earmarked for bombing by the terrorists, who he claimed have been deployed to the zone. He said, most of the terrorists are already living among the people in the various communities and cities in Southeast, where some of them operate now as tricycle riders, commercial motorcycle operators, and shoemakers. They wander around our villages and streets as innocent people, but they have wicked intent and are only waiting for order to unleash mayhem. Further intelligence reports by IPOB intelligence crack team revealed a few days ago observed in Umahia that the terrorists have concluded plans to blow up the marked churches simultaneously on the set date once they receive the final order from their sponsors. These they intend to carry out before March 30th. There is already so much evidence confirming this wicked plot. Just last week, a soldier in Mufti was seen at Orie, Uba, Umahia, narrating how he narrowly escaped execution for refusing to ally with a secret plot to unleash mayhem on Abiyans and Biafrans. Similar event was also reported at Okigwe last month. It has also been discovered that many terrorists have infiltrated Keke and Okada operators in most cities and villages with the evil objective of familiarizing themselves with our terrains. We want to sound the alert to our people that Indigo and indeed the entire Biafra land have been surrounded by Fulani terrorists. They have already taken our forests and farmlands marauding as headsmen. Some of their foot soldiers now live amongst us posing as shoe shiners, hawkers, laborers, and gate men. It is very unfortunate that our governors and selfish political jobbers, jobbers are not concerned about this disturbing trend. They are joking with the security of their people. They connive with Abuja to betray IPOP. They have refused to form regional security outfits unlike their counterparts in the Southwest. So, our people should not trust or depend on our so-called Fulani leaders anymore for their security. We, have, we therefore call on all church leaders in the Southeast to South South, indeed, our people to brace up for the worse. Everybody should get ready to defend oneself. This is the time to unite as Indigo and push back the invaders. Our people should also stop burning Keke or Okada being operated by strangers. We also call on the international community to hold the Nigerian government responsible for the genocide going on in Christian communities around the country.
All right, guys. What are your new? What are your thoughts on this particular news story? That is what is going on at the moment. Emma Powerful has come out to reveal that there are plots by the Fulani headsmen to to attack Southeast before the end of March 2020. This is not the first time that there have been threats. This is another threat that has been released. This information has been released and it's targeted at the Southeast mainly. Then also they said they have they've marked about 400 churches to be attacked. Don't forget that Winners Chapel uh, was attacked in one of the northern states recently, just uh, about two weeks ago or thereabout, if I'm not mistaken. The church was attacked and was burned by uh, some bandits, unknown bandits. So now, um, IPOP has now come out to say that they've alerted the public that there are plans for the Fulani headsmen or these terrorist guys to also attack people from the southeast and the south-south, uh, but majorly the southeast, according to Imma Powerful. So guys, what is actually going on? What is actually going on? The country is so in disarray. The issue of the new disease in town has taken over so much, or taken over the media and so much attention already. Then now, this one is also coming up, it's also happening. Guys, what do you think is going on? What should be done? The Nigerians are actually going through a lot. The Southeast is a very important part, an integral part of Nigeria and a very important state. And people who are from the Southeast are already agitating for the Republic of Biafra. The, 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 the little ones who are yet to fully identify with Biafra or come out to declare their stance you know, are still allowed to live as evils. So what do the Fulanese or the headsmen gain when they attack Buhari? What do they stand to gain and what do they stand to achieve when they attack the people from the southeast? Are they going to be promised heaven on earth or what have you? Well, I'm not sure. I see no reason why somebody or some group of people should take joy in killing other people, in maiming other people, and sending them to their early grave. I don't know, well, but be that as it may, something needs to be done, or else it's going to be a serious war between the South and the East. And the truth of the matter right now is that Nigeria cannot afford um, a war uh, possibly that is why you have seen that Okonje Iweala and others have actually um, dropped the issue of the uh, they've dropped the issue of and they are just trying to ensure that there is peace everywhere they are working. So guys, based on what is happening and what you have seen and heard, what do you think is going on? What are your thoughts on this particular new story? Do you think that the Northerners stand to gain anything by wiping out the Southeast? Can they even actually wipe out the Southeast? That is where I think the question should start from. What are the plans so far? What do they plan to get? Now, I would like for you to guys to drop out the comment section and let us know what your thoughts are on this particular news story. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Also hit the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever we post a new story. I appreciate you so much guys. I want to thank you for your support. Thank you for always being there. Thank you for what you do and thank you for the insights. Please do not forget to let people know that this channel is um, open for concrete news, important news, trendy news and also quality news. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate you. And I want to say that you're welcome on board once again.
Don't forget to share these new stories with friends, families, relations, and loved ones, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you so much, guys. Have a wonderful time.